Welcome back. It is time for the Game Jam uh, playthrough and winners. Um, I just want to test my audio again to make sure that we don't have any issues. Uh, I'm joined by a few student mentors again. Same as from the TED Talk. We have um, Zekram. Can you say hi? Hello, everyone. Perfect. Audio is working. Uh, Zen. Hello. We have Anker. Hello. Matt. Hello. We have James. Hello. And lastly, we are just joined by uh, Edward's camera. Hi. And I think I can add, there he is. I can add him to the screen. All right, so um, this week's Game Jam theme was Stick Together. For those of you who uh, are just joining us for the first time, uh, every week we have a Game Jam theme and people create games within that week and submit them. Um, everyone who does so gets a badge and then we also award prizes and of course, bragging rights. So um, let's get into it. So our first submission came in from Izzy D. So let's see. I think Izzy only joined um, joined the Code Li community like a week or two ago, two weeks ago maybe. And let's see. Get a reminder on what the uh, theme is for people watching. Yep. The theme is stick together. Gotcha. So let's see. It's a hatch game. I'll go full screen so we can see it. Oh, I missed that. Let's see. Make it through the tape and get to the water. Or get trapped and sent back to the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that if I were to collide with the tape, I need to restart. All right. A lot of times people uh, force you to click start again and watch that whole intro thing. It's annoying. It's good that we don't have to do that. Let's see. All right. That's just, that's, so that's just me. So close. Okay. Mission complete. I did it. And I think that's the game. Um, all right. So definitely for someone who joined the community uh, recently, not a bad start. Um, Obviously, the uh, theme is made possible via the tape. Um, maybe don't stick together in this case, but um, it's essentially a maze type game. Not much to it. I think uh, it's a good start. Um, I think I'd like to see uh, some more levels added, maybe some more gameplay, um, and perhaps uh, play around with the theme a little bit more. What do you guys think? Yeah, but I think it's very cool. I like the implementation of tape as a stick together, or rather, stick together to lose. Um, but yeah, like you had said, I would I like to see a little bit more levels, a bit more gameplay. Um, I definitely think there could be a lot of unique types of um, tape interactions that I'm, I'm already thinking. Oh yeah, of. each like each le like the level one is scotch tape, and then like <laughs> level five is duct tape. I was thinking more things like you might touch a wall or certain types of walls and you have to mash keys to get off of it because you're stuck. Um, mm -hmm. Just s some things like that to add some spice in between each level. Uh, but yeah, I like the idea. Very, very cool. Maybe it's just because I'm the person who immediately thought of uh, a boss being Toilet Paper Man when the theme was limited <laughs> resources. But yeah, uh, yeah. now I'm just envisioning like a boss character made up of like rolls of electrical tape stacked on top of each other all right uh we don't have too much time so why not continue moving through uh good submission let's see uh next is mentor james i'm gonna stick with the uh non-mentor submissions first and then we'll get to the mentor submissions so now we have a game from hello i added the exclamation point i just want to uh make that known another hatch game let's see what we have uh, I need to defeat the Viking. Oh, that was too fast. I need to defeat the... I'm gonna, tr gonna try this a little slower. You need three people to defeat him. If you answer a question correctly, you get a teammate. Okay, so uh, I can do that math. One plus one is two, correct? Huh, there's our teammate. Okay. I think uh, 
Maybe I have played too many times. Oh. Wow. Okay. Let's try this. I'm going to just hit play one more time. I think I may have kind of put it in glitch mode. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Now it's working a little bit more as expected. One plus two is three. Now I got uh, two more added. And I guess I just needed three to beat the character. So obviously the uh, theme here uh stick together you just uh, are sticking together with your teammates or your war mates i guess if they're fighting um and then you just need to get a uh get a group behind you that is strong enough to defeat the viking i would like to see more mechanics around possibly the fighting or actually sticking together with the teammates I think there's mm -hmm. a potential definitely in solving a puzzle to gain power and fight off certain enemies. Um, but I would have liked to see more of an interaction on that level. Yeah, even just with the setup, it kind of reminds me of, um, I mean, Pokemon is the game that most readily is, um, people are familiar with this style of like, you know, turn-based fighting you could do something like that it's just kind of set up like that and then mm. if you answer a question every round you get like a power up something like that that could be yeah. a good way to go about expanding on this uh game i definitely right. agree with zen where he says maybe we should add some more variation to it if i was making this program i definitely want to see how can these people you're getting help solve your math problems maybe that's an idea <laughs> for a future version I think I think I think Edward just wants someone to do his math homework. <laughs> All right. Um moving on. Make sure we get to everybody's games today. Um we have funteam.io if I'm not mistaken. We we got some really good games from this individual. All right, another hatch game. Let's see. Okay. Gonna hit play. Nice oh, wow. animation with those buttons coming in. Um, you guys are probably gonna have to help me. I'm probably uh, too bad at games to understand what's gonna happen. Um, I'm just gonna click each one. Okay. I love the animation so as they come in and then that last ingredient. Okay, maybe I just like moved when I clicked. Um, okay, I got a stick and a track kind of thing, and I'm gonna merge them and see what happens. To... What should I be able to, to do? Click on them, like and, uh, and do something. Maybe with you the drag action. them together. Uh, yeah, yeah. So if, I should try and then merge, and then hit merge after that. Should I just oh, well, the person like in this that. deal? Drag them all uh, to the merge, merge like button. Could work as well. Maybe add another one of each thing, like another... Yeah, they might merge with themselves. I mean, Siamese off the bat, I guess I'll just say a bit twins. of direction for the user could always be uh, useful. Oh. oh, there you go. So, uh, you know what? Maybe maybe we have maybe we have some directions. And I, directions. because I just by default go to like the inside of the code. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, no direct. It could be definitely useful. Maybe a button in the game or description outside the game. Let's see, what does two steel do? A gun. Oh, that that escalated quickly. <laughs> combine the gun with a person. I was gonna combine it with a stick. Oh, oh I yeah, like how I got, the, I got a bigger the stick. at the top are changing. <laughs> Think the gun. Yeah, yeah so I, I guess uh, we're building up a stronger and stronger character. Uh, I'm going to expect that the sword is attack and it's going to shoot up right now. Or not. Uh, you might, that's a spearman. You got to probably combine him with a just a normal person if that works. Yeah, I think it like you don't it doesn't matter like where they are. I think it just combines with the, the other parts of itself or something. No, I just want to see if you um get two oh. more Oh, wow. if you get two more Oh, wow, you've actually created a little like phalanx there. See, if you get two guns. Oh, yeah, there you go. You have a tank. Got a tank. Try to get two tanks now. Let's see. Uh, how'd I get this? This reminds me of his, like, little alchemy, I think. Your what attack is power has reached 30,000. I got oh, a wow. fighter jet. Now, can you get the Air Force? Uh, Edward, when does Jeff Bezos come in with this game? What'd you expect? <laughs> I'd say. 
Can you get the oil? I want to build more trees. Got a log cabin. A little home for Abraham Lincoln. Just try spawning as many sticks as you possibly can. And well, now if you hit we, merge uh, at that level, there whoa, you go. Oh my god. Have we just combined Winter two fell. of the same thing? Have you combined like any variant of the human and steel yet? I don't know if they combine like that. Yeah, it's you just kind of have the raw resources and then hit merge. And oh my is god. the guy getting oh, an idea? Uh, you know what? This might be how we get to Jeff Bezos. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, lots of steel <laughs> and a few more of those guys. That guy's looking a lot like Jeff Bezos. Or we just get a rocket. The art of war. <laughs> that's Sun Tzu, the art of war. Wow, that's him. I guess it's relevant. We're so close. Artificial enlightenment. Uh oh, we got enlightenment and the art of war now. Where's enlightenment? Oh, but the, the Sun Tzu the is the last. Okay. See if we can make a more advanced structure out of wood and then. Uh oh, we got art of war. <laughs> Okay, so those seem to be the advanced, with, and then the fighter jet, probably the most advanced under its tier as well. I just realized that we've reached 103 million defense. Is that the to the representation of total defense and attack over the whole A nuclear space? bomb. <laughs> oh, yeah, I missed it because it got smaller. Yeah, I think that kind of ends it, doesn't it? Well, let's see if you can get past nuclear two bomb. Nuclear bo the two Click nuclear on the nuclear bombs. bomb. Oh, okay. I, I, I was thinking that might do something. All right. I think uh, I think we've I think we've exceeded each of the resources, but I like it. It's like a cool. Um, I don't even you, know uh, what kind of game you. Too far. Let's just check oh. the. Actually, no. We shouldn't look at. The, I just want to see if there's any further sprites that maybe we missed by some. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd, I I want to make sure that I'm not uh, exposing yeah, yeah, exactly. um, too much of people's behind the scenes work. Uh, that's for them to do. Um, and I don't want to waste... Well, not waste. I don't want to spend too much time on one game. But I liked it. That was a fun game. Interesting. I, I like the base. I think it has a lot of room to expand. Obviously, it's a concept that, you know, hard parts are... I, I like the idea. Very cool. I, and I love the animations, like uh, just things appearing on the map. When the buttons first came onto the map, it was really cool. And you already have the baseline, which is a hard part. So it only becomes easier from there to just keep mm. adding things. I personally feel like the nuclear bomb defeats the purpose. I feel like if you click the nuclear bomb, it would be pretty cool if it could go off. That, yeah, that would have that would have been a nice end to the game. Well, nice isn't like <laughs> the awesome. right term to use, but Maybe you know Jeff what I Bezos? mean. Maybe Jeff Bezos, I don't know, something like that. Um, Jeff Bezos so this, would have been a great so this, so this next game is by Duck Rat. Uh, I I find it funny that the person whose name starts with Duck has. Red stick immediately as the first variable we see. But uh, let's see. Everything has gone back to normal. The, oh, this is the end. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's run oh, it. How to play. Yeah. Click a stick to activate it. Once activated, you can use it to help save the other sticks by clicking on them. Activated sticks will glow. Okay. Baxter, you were a small stick from the remains of an old tree that was hit by lightning. You need to save all the sticks. You have four sticks to save, and only stick. And the only stick you have with you have with you is squirrel stick. Okay. Squirrel stick. I just gotta say the the art is very cute. You can see yeah, the this squirrel. this right here. <laughs> I'm a big fan of squirrel. Someone stick. screenshot that. Yes. That skulls right there. Squirrel sticks. I, I think squirrel stick should be added to the sprite library. I think I want I want to use squirrel stick in my next hatch games. Um, all right, so I like that the buttons kind of. A lot of people don't do that. You don't know if the buttons are not. I like perfect. that the variable says no. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm stuck in the tree. I think squeak. I can do this. Squeak. Let me try squeak. Click me, then click that stick. Squeak. Which stick? I'll click you. Now I click other stick. Now you have to click on the, click the, the tree, st yeah. stick in the tree. Oh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I love these an anthropomorphized stick, sticks. Leaf stick has been saved. Next level. So I like the stick together theme being on. Oh, yeah, that, this, is a really, this is a really fun uh, execution of this theme.
Bond. Can you Hint click on the Bond. stick that you just saved? Uh, no. Click on the other stick. Oh, that stick doesn't want to talk. Maybe you can beat it out of him. Bonk. Oh. Baker bread stick. Oh my God. Hold on. The we assets need... are so Hold great. Hold on. <laughs> The sprites in this game are fantastic. Yeah, I'll help Garden this cat distract just... this cat or something. Hit the, the cat distraction. The <laughs> I think you have to dis. Uh, what was that? Uh, I don't know how I did it, but I did it. I got the strong the stick. With squirrel stick strong and receive stick. strong stick. To be fair, he is the only Hungry stick. <laughs> oh. oh. No, no. breadstick. Hit, hit the goose with the stick. I'm Who thinking. makes food? The baker makes food. Oh my god. Baker Do stick? Oh. No. Are you asking? <laughs> Leave that stick alone. Come with me. Everything has oh gone back to normal. The cat has other toys and the goose got in trouble for trying to kidnap you and all the sticks uh all the sticks have gone back to their normal lives the end wow what a great story what does everyone lot, lots of take yeah. away from this one what does everyone think Incredible. great story and good assets is what i think yeah, yeah I agree. fantastic assets um I, the story was very funny i enjoyed it i love the concept of stick together in this project yeah, yeah. it's also a very unique um take on the theme i i liked it i liked it a lot um one critique i would make is uh better punctuation in the descriptions i was uh having a hard time reading some things up because there were missing uh periods and commas i don't think i ever got this right did i we just don't see them at the end i would have liked to see hat stick Whichever stick this is, but um, maybe that's a hidden stick. Hidden stick, that's his name. Hidden stick. But yeah, very original. I like that they had added these backgrounds. Very often, people just overlook it. Even just adding like this, it's you know, it's a squiggly line over like some brown rectangles, but it, it inherently implies dirt tree uh uh like trunk of a tree and then tree branches and leaves like even with that simple uh design and it like adds a lot to it i agree mm -hmm. all right um let's go back and i think we're up to student mentors so the first student mentor is here with us right now are you ready james I am. All right, everybody. Let's be super critical of his game. <laughs> I'm kidding. Gotcha. See. We'll do. This is a great start. Oh, okay, there we go. I was worried it wasn't going to start. <laughs> I was. I was... <laughs> Who here has taken chemistry? Me. I have. I've taken chemistry. So uh, I missed the description, but I do know the game. Um, task is to create the molecules described at the bottom of the level. So we got to ah. combine the correct atoms and we have to correct bind them in the correct um, structure. So I think everyone knows this one. Water. H two O. Now just to illustrate how um, these things need to be combined together um, if I do this, doesn't work. That's because that's not how water is. Uh, James, do you, uh, what yes. controls the speed of these moving? Code. <laughs> <laughs> is it like does the rotation speed just increase the further they are from like the spinning center? Uh, yeah, I tried to I try to do it like that. I created okay. this in JavaScript, not p5.js. Okay. Um, but it does actually support, I made it support up to 166 hertz monitor. And I also added mobile support so you can play it on your phone. Nice. 
out of uh, curiosity, the the elements themselves, did you manually code every element or were you taking from like a um, like a database of elements and all their shells and stuff? One of the, yeah, one of the difficult parts was trying to make sure that it would work no matter what uh, rate or really molecule that I threw at it. I found a limit 25 levels there are. At that point, the molecules that I found just got so complex it either wouldn't fit on the screen or the program would just flat out break. There is okay. a limit to how many atoms you can stack on top of each other. I believe it's four. But from there, you can stack more atoms on the sides of certain atoms. But all now, of the levels, you should be able to. Now, this is where we get a little into some more complex territory. H2O, CO2, they're self-described. Methylene, uh, it's not, methyl usually means like one or so. I think it's, okay, pretty good. Nitrite, so we're gonna need a nitrogen, uh, probably have an oxygen. Uh, I go like this. Nope. If you do get, if you um, form the wrong molecule, it will automatically restart for you. Just a heads up. Oh, like, like if you, if, you, if I just wait right now, it would it would automatically restart you. But every single I've I've played this game so many times to make sure that it worked. Every single one you can beat every single level. I'm I'm actually noticing that. I think sort of the trick to this is trying it okay. again and again because gonna, you yeah, can see I've, patterns. I've done that. You, you see what's yeah. always available yes, to I, you. I, I made it generate three um, random ones along with the actual ones. Cheat. I was going to. It's <laughs> I, I can just tell you, it's, it's NO2. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but I was, I was going to add specific random ones but at that point like the the javascript file is over 1600 lines of code and i was just too tired to <laughs> implement set random generations so methane but at the later levels you you not only know have know. to you not only have to know all of the atoms you have to know the arrangement for the atoms wow wow that looks great yeah, it does. Yeah, it's um, a, yeah. The Zoom I, uh, obviously put the animations to shame, but <laughs> oh, I didn't mean <laughs> the to. The animations combine those are much together. smoother if you were to play it in the browser. Nothing makes... is. Yeah, I can actually useful. look on the. Uh, oh, I think uh, uh, in the there stream they should be pretty smooth. I think it's just uh, right now be Zoom's being weird, so I have to uh, screen share it, so it's looking probably glitchy on your end. Um, makes... Somebody help oh. me out. I forget methane. It's CH four. CH4, okay. It makes a lot of and sense thematically. All, <laughs> which I like. All of the all of the electrons are correct, the amount of shells that yes. each atom has. And uh, the valence started. electrons also decrease. I should have paid attention to the <laughs> But the small details, the small details. Ammonia. Like how the, the color of the text matches with the color of the molecule. How many levels are there? Twenty-five. Oh wow. Would you believe there that the first time I played this, I think I got through like the first 10 levels without making a mistake. Like I actually was paying attention. Ammonia. Um, if you want to know, you can just... Uh, I, probably. Is it N3? Yeah. Or NH, you know what I meant. NH3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hydrogen peroxide. So there's an OH group, right? There is this happens yes. occasionally, by the way. Sometimes when you go to a next level, kind of freezes. There is so how I did it is if you notice, each of the atoms is in a random position, and I tried to make it so that the atoms wouldn't overlap each other when it creates the random position. So in order to do that, I had to implement a while loop. But the sometimes, very occasionally, it would crash. Because I also it has to generate inside of the bounds of the device. So if it's a small phone, let's say, then it could be looping forever. So I had to mm -hmm. put a cap on that the amount of times that it loops, and now, that cap is a, a bit high. 
and on some device, it, especially since you're streaming right now, yeah, it can I'm, be intensive. I'm exhausting some resources. Um, help me out here. What am I? What, what's hydrogen peroxide? Um, H2O2. So you H2. can. Two. Oh. Connect another OH group oxygen to the oxygen. Yeah. I got stuck. There we go. And they're just bonded through the O's, right? Yeah, you can bond it right to the oxygen. And that's that was one of the difficult parts, too, if you have two separate groups and then combining them to make sure that all of the atoms are shown and they rotate around each other. Now, if I recall, I think uh, I saw... This one might be just oxygen mood. Yeah, it's PO4. Yeah. And it's four, not three, right? It is four, yes. And then that means nitrogen is either three or four. Might even, yeah. As many as you can fit until it tells you you're right. Four. See, I kind of remember the nitrate versus nitrite. Pyruvate in this case, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. Um, so I don't want to... I want to... Uh, how many games do we have left? Oh, we had one more. I missed that one. I um, want to make sure we have time for everyone else's games, but... Um, so we'll wrap this one up. What is ever well? First of all, tell me what pyruvate is. It's not. It's a simple one, uh, right? Fes two. Self. Fes two. What does everyone think? Very cool. I love the implementation of stick together. I think it's like very seamless, a very uh, friendly user experience, and I think it has just enough content that would make me want to play through the whole thing. So I think you know, even as just a demo and a game jam, I think it's already a fully functional game title on its own so very very cool mm -hmm. thank you i really like yeah. the uh the implementation of an already existing system in real life like he used uh mm. the periodic table and peri uh, the elements and compounds and going going off sort of what exists going off what zen said too like not even just as a game but as a learning tool, if you need to, to learn mm -hmm. like variety, oh, of I forgot to say that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I originally created this to help people learn atoms because people hate learning science and atoms. At least in my experience. Yeah, are you trying class. to are you trying to tackle organic chemistry in high school, James? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> some some of the more complex ones. Like, at least in this year, we learned about the different types of groups, like hydroxyl, carboxyl, carbonyl. Yeah, well, I think uh, this is definitely great. It's a fun thing. People recognize some of these. Uh, hopefully, they don't recognize cyanide. Um, <laughs> Surprisingly simple cyanide. Yeah, I forget which two it is. What would be cool is if you added, like, a fun, like, cyanide. Why is this, like, or, like, uh, with with uh oh three like why card. is it dangerous it's like because it's unstable and then that can what is it it'll it, the extra oxygen group breaks off and like combine with organic materials which like can essentially it's not burning you but it it, it damages organic tissues yeah if if it is designed Ozone. to be a learning tool it would probably be pretty easy to add like in between each level just like a pop-up that gives yeah. some ex explanation about the uh like right there where like the level scenes come up yeah absolutely yeah so that was an excellent game i thought it was cool let's see i i, I missed leslie's game before i feel bad i want to make sure we get this one and then we have uh two more me student mentor games after that oh, i'm gonna go full screen Oh, okay, we got two characters and they're moving towards each other, I think, slowly, meandering. What happens when they touch? <laughs> How 
help us find the skate park. Control me with the WASDA keys. Control me with the arrow keys. You can use two players for this. All right, let's roll. Stick together, okay? Okay, dude. I'm immediately getting, um, what's that? The little flash game, Waterboy Lava Girl flash game. I don't remember oh, exactly yeah. what it's Waterboy called. Waterboy what happens yes. if you get too far away? Oh, okay. Nothing happens if you get too far away. Oh, man, but, they look too similar. I can't tell who's who. Who is attached to which finger? So I took the... It's I, I like the detail that you took the E-Train. I'm not sure which skate park you would get to from the E-Train uh, in New York City. But... Okay. Uh, that was the game. Um, Alright, so... It had a fun little, like, the build-up of not much happening, and then, like, just that silly, like, ah, oh, you, you ran into me. It was kind of funny. Um, then it had a nice story. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's the beginning of what could be a cool game. I think I've seen games kind of like it, where you kind of have to navigate two players at the same time um, and keep them together. What would have been cool is if you implemented... Um, if you implemented uh, a distance formula that looked at the how far the characters are from each other so that they could never get too far. Um, or if it was like a scrolling uh, maze game where uh, you can't move on to the maze because another player is preventing like the camera from moving through like the parts of the maze you can't see. Uh, I think that would have been a really cool implementation of this idea. Um, but definitely a unique one. We've we've seen a lot of different renditions of how stick together can be done. <laughs> sort of on on the mechanics front with this, you can sort of remix. Like to me, I I get the that game that I talked about before, the Water Girl and Fireboy, uh, which was a classic. Like uh, there's that cool math uh, flash game site. And mm -hmm. in that game, like you'd use one character to like open the way while the other character goes through. And then you'd need to use both like sort of to make it to the end goal from different paths. And I feel like if you added something similar to that with maybe what, what Doug was saying about like you can't get too far away, you could make something pretty cool where you've got to like maneuver both at the same time to do something similar to that. Yeah. All right, um, certainly a cool game. I I think uh, with some expansion of um, the gameplay, it could be a really, really fun game to play. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play Edward's game first. This is gonna test my computer crashes. <laughs> Okay, so this is uh, Unity. Uh, is this Unity, Edward? Uh, no, it's just uh, regular JavaScript, HTML5. Oh. So it's definitely looking a little glitchy on my end. Uh, I did test this before. Um, that is a result of me just doing too many things at one time with my computer at the moment. Uh, I think <laughs> I might be getting a new one because my hinge is completely broken at the moment, but... Let's see this how to play detail. A and D are arrow keys to go left and right, um, all the different buttons to jump. Um, old mouse to use hand. So you get this sticky hand. Like, uh, did you think about those sticky hands you get from like a vending machine? Was that like your idea for the yes. theme? I That's love exactly it. what it's going to do. Um, okay, so you use your mouse for that. Um, Oh, and then once you're swinging, you do left and does as you're swinging. Does pressing left or right affect how you swing? Uh, yeah, it'll push you in that direction. Okay. Um, I like how you uh, were very specific with stick together. Yeah. All right. Um, this is a coin. Collect like them the and use them in the. Changing from day to night. Yeah, that's some of these details are awesome. Um, and of course, skulls, bombs, and Facebook are obstacles to avoid. They will stick you down and stick to you and slow you down. Edwardscamera.com. Excellent. Okay. 
What's the shop look like? Oh, you get different sticky hands. No. The, that's, that's pretty cool. The final two. How many app? Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> okay, yeah. And what people may not notice is that um, this is one of those games where you have to, like, run against the wall. Uh, um, it is very fortunate. Oh, crap. It is very fortunate that uh, my computer is kind of running real slow right now because I am, like, hilariously bad at this game. <laughs> A lot better on the uh, stream that it does here. Did you use p5.js for this or just normal JavaScript? No, nope, just Canvas. I used to do p5.js and I stopped stopped using that for stuff. Decided I wanted to learn it on my own. Well, this is very <laughs> impressive. Thank you. Yours was impressive too. So, uh, um, are these levels randomly generated, or are they like? Uh, no, actually, what we did is uh, I have a whole bunch of two-dimensional arrays stored in another array, so it's like a big three-dimensional array, and each each two D array is like a segment. And then what happens when you go far enough? I'll just add a random segment to the end of the world, and it keeps going. I'm noticing there is a little bit of glitch. I'm I'm actually I pulled it up and. I'm yeah. taking a look. There's a little bit of a glitch where if you use the sticky hand while standing on an object, um, you get some really weird results uh, if you jump up and then like land on an object. Oh, yeah. But... Oh, with the... He flips back and forth. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to uh, look at that, and um, it's a thing with how I'm changing the scale of yeah. oh, yeah, but. Oh. Um, so let's it depends go to the on, which, on the velocity of the rope, and so uh, it's just doing if it's greater than zero, if it's less than zero, and then when you're on the ground, it's a really small number that's changing positive and negative, and that's what's causing it. I haven't so, fixed it in time. Another thing I'm I'm noticing is are there um, like terrain that you can't escape from? Uh, there should in be. one or two sections there might be. You should be able to escape from every uh, every segment. So something I'd want to add, uh, when I see the like arm physics, it reminds me a lot of the like swinging arm, if anyone's ever played that game before. Um, and in there, I think there'd be a feature that might be a bit required, at least maybe just for me, because I've run into a couple of things. Being able to retract the arm to pull yourself in. Um, there's a couple of cases, I think, where some of the jumps you can't actually swing up to since you can't gain any momentum. And so something I might say wouldn't actually, you know, probably need to be had, but something that could be cool is the ability to pull yourself in with the hand to get like closer to wherever you've latched on to. Yeah, when, when I first tried the hand, I, I almost expected a grappling hook. So this was a little weird. It's, it's almost like um, there's a game with a frog and string um, on the, the old DS that I can't remember the name of but it was similar where you'd attach to different points and um you could swing from them with string um and that this feels a lot like that except in that game you could pull yourself in was sort of the idea is that as you swung you could change your how far you were from the object and that helped a lot because you could create momentum like zen was saying yeah i get it um with the controls, I, I was planning to implement that later and have enough time for the game, Jan, but with the controls I have here, you can get pretty far. I've gotten around uh, a thousand meters once. I don't know what the Yeah, don't be fooled. Is. This game is, like, beatable. I'm very bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about beatable, but you can do a lot better than I do. Um, do the hands uh, have any kind of difference to them? Um, no, they're just cosmetic. I think you'll be able to buy something now. You have a, a yeah. decent amount of coins. Yeah, I'm struggling to get through some of these gaps with the hand because it's like... Well, what's tricky is, first of all, I, I am using a lefty mouse. Uh, I'm not a lefty, so things are confusing. Uh, but 
what's tricky is you're controlling the player and then um, you're not just aiming with the mouse like you're clicking specifically where you go but watch like right now i'm aimed here but as i jump it moves away and i'm like trying to catch it with my mouse so i'm like tracking mm -hmm. two targets at once kind of that's what makes it real tricky yeah i saw that issue originally i had it where um you had to click exactly on the block for it to uh to um for the hand to stick on but i changed it to make it easier where it just shoots a ray and it just if you overshoot or undershoot you should still attach to uh the block yeah overall um especially like with the time constraint that we had uh i think this is really impressive and like yeah. fun to play like i like i'm like making I'm like okay make sure okay where am i oh I like the uh, introduction like, of the shop to increase the amount of, you know, playtime that a player has, even if they make it past, you know, the enjoyment of, or the initial appeal of playing with the base gameplay mechanics, they have something to work towards. Yeah, I'm just trying it's to earn the banana. Stuff. I want to know how that's used. Do uh, I play as a banana? Are, they're pretty much the same. The the hand is a banana, but um, it's all cosmetic, really. There's, um, there's no real physics change. Eighty-four meters is your high score. Trying to get the baseless. Yeah. Um, Callback from my last game: Space Cowboy Jeff Bezos is in the game. He's so um, cool. You can be Dev also. That's an option. Very close to the imposter. I might have to shield for that one though. Lucky kiddo, your bot, kiddo, your Martian. I'm going to get what I came for. <laughs> yes. I don't mind if anyone looks at the code either. It's, it's pretty messy code since I'm just trying to get everything done, but... I know it could be better, but I'll make it open source. Almost, I almost swung. Okay. Um, I want to make sure we have enough time for um, Ben's game. So I'm going to call it here, but uh, okay. Edward, excellent game. I thought it was a, like impressive overall, but super impressive being that we had a week to work on it. Thank you. All right, so cheese. Um, let's see what his game is. Uh, okay, my PC audio dead. Okay, good to know. So Zekram's audio dead. Um, I have the chat open so I can peek at anything he sends. Um, um, that was before. Uh, oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. Now, yes. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Work with a friend to escape the mysterious cave that you foolishly chose to explore. You'll need to stick together in order to make your way through the cave and clear any obstacles in your way. The controls are explained in-game. Click Create Room to generate a room and its special code, or Join Room once you know a room's special code. The host will be able to create platforms, and the other player will detonate them. Also, I forgot to mention this is how to play. Okay. Um, oh, wait, that was probably important. Press R to pull a lever if it's close enough. Okay. Um, so he does have a how to play. Move with the WASD keys or the arrow keys. Pull two levers to open each door. Player one, press Q. Okay. Player two, press Q to blow it up. Explosions break rocks. Okay. So um, who, who wants to play this with me? It is a two-player game. Uh, Edward, did you want to uh, try this out? Yeah, sure. Cool. Uh, do you want to send me the room code in the chat? That way, that right. way I don't have... Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's start. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a lot of momentum. 
with a lot of momentum. Yeah. So Okay, so you gotta build earlier. a thing. Let me just turn the music down real quick. Uh I think oh that was you. Okay. Alright. So let's play gonna... earlier. Um there we go. I guess I'll speak for him. It's a game where you gotta get through. Um, you gotta get through this um, underground cave by working together. And I believe I can make a platform by standing on it. And then you can you press Q to blow it up. Well, uh, I'm a little stuck at the moment. Okay. Oh, oh, no! It's just me being. Uh... There's another one. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I might be seeing a little bit of lag on my end because of all the streaming. How do we pull the levers? You press R. Uh, R? Are you clicking? No, it's R. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was R. And I got it. Um, there's another one up here. And I think you get up to it by... Up on top of the platform. Got it. How do you jump that high? How do I jump that high? Okay. Yeah, I just keep getting stuck and drifting around. I th yeah. I don't know if it's that's the hard thing. I don't know if it's just because I have so much going on. All right, so here you got it. Um push yourself up. So if I jump up... Oh, did you blow up this platform back here? Alright, cool. So... If you jump on this platform that I just made... Ugh, I'm playing with someone else. It's a very fun game. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of uh, momentum that you can gain on that initial slope. Yeah, tons of momentum. I don't think I can jump that high. My player mm -hmm. is not as athletic. All right. <laughs> um, if you blow it up, I'll make another one. Yeah. Can you jump that high? No, that's the same. <laughs> I, I can barely walk. <laughs> uh, see? He's trying. Can I stand on your head? I have it right here. I think both players have to go onto there the platform at the same yeah. time. And then blow it up now. It should be shoot upwards. Oh no, you got shot upwards. I'm stuck down here. Oh, there you are. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come back. That's a whole lot of momentum. I'm not sure if this platform is made of wood or something come else. On. Come on, come on, come on. I'm able to climb up if you, if you okay, you got it. Oh. No, the the acceleration just nuts. Is it, how, what's everyone else experiencing? Is it just me? My the person I'm playing with got up on the top, and ah. I am I'm lost down here. I'm the explorer guy. So <laughs> I, something that I did notice is that you can press. Hey, we're holding hands. And <laughs> no matter what, it will always explode. So technically, you can just spam Q and then theoretically beat it. Try blowing it up now, Tuck. Okay. Do I have to jump when I do it? Possibly. I'm not sure. So I'm going to say, I'm going to count and jump, and then I'm going to hit it. Okay. So okay. I, when we say, we're really holding hand, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Oh, I can't zoom in. There we go. Okay. So I'm go uh, when I say three, we jump. Okay. One, two, Three. 
It it didn't jump. It didn't. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not talking about. It exploded very late. So okay. Um. So I think the game maybe needs to fix some of the physics. Uh, I don't know if it's just. Um, Did you manage to just get up? me? But. Hmm. Did you get up to the top? Uh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck down here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um yeah, I, I don't I don't think I'm getting up there. I think I'm just gonna wallow down here in the dirt. So one thing about this game, it's intrinsically a multiplayer game, but it also sort of requires you to sort of be in communication with your other player. Um I feel like if you're already doing sort of like the the multiplayer thing. Uh, adding some sort of like basic text chat might have been a big um, addition to this. That way, you could like play with like someone who you aren't in communication with. And obviously, like for for a game jam game, you don't need like hey, matchmaking. That. Uh, that was just something oh. that. <gasps> oh, okay, I made it. I would also like some like indicator of where the other person is, because right now you can oh. see very little around you. And maybe also just a bigger vision so you can see. Because when you're going, mm -hmm. when you just reach the end of that first like hallway and then you have to go up, you can't really tell unless you like jump and like figure out that there's space above you. So, maybe a mini map. Mini yeah, map mini map or work. something, or just like. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, no. Hit Q and you can blow oh, yourself up. I did and it didn't do it. You need to be like in the middle of it. Uh, okay. Um, so I think it's a very fun game. I think it's a fun idea. I love the artwork. Um, especially the walking animation. <laughs> I found that if you hit, um, if you jump after you explode, like right after, it launches you the most. Yeah, it's 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 difficult to time. It just may be my computer's glitchy right now. But um I think if some of the physics for this game were fixed, like I am just sliding as if I was on ice right now. But otherwise I love some of these animations and everything like that, and especially uh in a week this is very good. And I also think uh that regarding communication, I think it was intended to be made for like, you know, viewing on a live stream. Um, all right, so I think that is all the time we have for our session today. Um, I think it's time to pick some winners. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of this and go back to the list of challenges. So list of submissions. So for the non-student mentors, we have Izzy D, Hello, Funteam.io, DocRat, and Leslie. And um, Izzy D had the tape one. Hello had. Ooh, which one was this again? Is that the sticks? Right. No, uh, Duck Rat was sticks. This was the uh, build your like army to defeat the Viking. Um, this one was the build up your army. Um, build up your Combining army. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Combining. <laughs> Yeah, so kind of similar to um, the game last week. Then we had Duck Rat, of course. That was the sticks. And yeah. then Leslie. Um, how do I not remember? I just reviewed it. The two stick men that you need oh, to yeah. move around with both hands. Skater oh, Bros. Oh, yeah, the sk Skater Bros. That was funny. All right, so what do we think for for these for uh, these um, non-student mentors? Who everyone list your favorite game? I even so, uh, in, if you want, I even put it in the chat. You can put it in there, and I will narrate. 
Or we could just say it. Like or you can rules. say it. That's yeah, yeah, you can say your favorite too. So I would say funteam.io for me. Funteam.io. Okay. I was you can say duck rat. Yeah, I was also very yeah. partial to duck rat because I feel like fun team um if if you look at like last week's uh I think it was the student mentor mm -hmm. winning one, uh with the combination, it's sort of very similar to me. Um, yeah, it's similar and and not I, I don't like it's not copying. I don't think anyone's oh, saying uh, that, but it's a little too not. yeah. Yeah. It it the, the, I can definitely understand that. Um how about uh Zen, you have uh, a favorite? I'd say that uh the stick together project with the Adams by uh James is my favorite. Uh for the non student mentors. Oh, for the non student mentors, sorry. Um I do really like the duck rat one with the sticks. I'd have to say that that was probably, I, I like the art style of that one. And then Ankur, you said um, duck rat? Yeah. All right, Matt, you have a favorite? I think uh, probably duck rat because fun team. It's, it's a pretty good game, but like someone said earlier, it looks like it's probably like somewhat influenced from uh, last year's game, last uh, week's game jam. Yeah, I you know I don't I don't I don't know if it's um necessarily maybe it is maybe it's not uh I, that was my inclination but it is a little similar. My thought is it's not as much of a game. It's almost like building up to a game. It's very well executed in terms of just like all the expansions and then the animations and stuff like that. But yeah, I think we all I think we all enjoyed um the humor and sprites in duck rats and uh you know what for for all of that i am going toward this week's winner to duck rat uh or duck rat is this week's winner i'm gonna say it a little better so congratulations duck rat that was uh, a fun game that you created for this week we're excited to see what you have for the coming themes now would you like me to decide on... I, I, I have my choice for uh, the student mentors, but would you guys like to weigh in? Don't forget, they're here with you right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, except I, Ben. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much loved every single one of them, um, especially, like, they, they each have their, their pros and cons, like the, the multiplayer elements being a challenge to, to implement... Um, but it really comes down to that clean, polished, and even educational atom design for uh, for for me. So I, I really like the combination of atoms um, to create different. Sorry, elements to create different. Uh, yeah, I like, um, all of the games were almost complete games, but I think James's game was the most complete out of all of them. For um. For the the multiplayer game, if you added say like an online chat, like a chat between the two people, and maybe some way of seeing where the other people are and the mini map or something, then I think it would be much better. And for Edward's game, I think that just like an improvement on like making it retractable and some other basic things would make it better. But yeah, and as far as complete game, I'm gonna go with James. For just as a note on on that uh, the completeness, little things like making the the upgrades in your shop not just cosmetic. Like, what if the blue sticky hand went twice as far, or something like that? Uh, would have served to help give it a feeling of like polish and completeness and a goal. I would, I would like to say though, Edwards was really cool. Like, it was it had a lot of implementations, a lot of like the shop and all of those add-ons that that can couldn't have been easy to make and the the 3D array with 2D almost mm -hmm. semi-random sections being added was very cool in my opinion. I loved your usage of the periodic table. I wanted so to do I... something uh uh sorry, Doug, but um my game last week, I think I wrote a bat in the wall. I was originally going to do chemical compounds as well. Um, it was definitely. I must say, I was mind. inspired by yours. I I'm not going to deny yours. that. I was inspired by yours. I still liked it. I loved your, um, I loved your usage of it. All right. Thank so you. I hear. Uh, I think Zekram and Anker, you're voting in favor of uh, Mentor James. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. 
All right. Does anybody else want to weigh in and give their votes? Uh, Zen and Matt? Well, like I had said before, uh, I definitely think that the just the implementation, the completeness of James' project really pushes over the edge for me. So that would be my choice. I think all three of these games are really cool. Uh, Edward's game, Jesus' game, and uh, other person, they're all very good. James, uh, but I feel like I feel like Cheese's game is probably the funnest game to play. Especially <laughs> uh, add some things maybe to like perfect it. Like if I made, if I had like a friend over my house or something, I'd probably choose to play that game. Uh, so I would say I would say I prefer Cheese's game. All right. Well, I am very heavily taking your considerations uh, into consideration. Uh, if I had to give my personal favorite, um, I'd actually say Edwards is my personal favorite. I think. Um, just the there was a whole lot to the game uh the shop the artwork uh made everything very fun and then just this like the physics of uh swinging um I, you know i know unity handles some of this stuff but to still to get it right uh is very difficult that would be my favorite but um i do ask your opinions for a reason and uh it's looking like i'm going to award this week's winner uh, mentor James, congratulations. People enjoyed the completeness of your games, of your game, uh, the expandability as a study app and as a game. And um, I, I did look through how you did it as well. And I, uh, there, there's a whole lot to it. <laughs> That's hiding Thank under you. the. Thank you. It, it, may, you, it may not have all the uh, physics of uh, an arcade style game, but there's a whole lot there that makes it work. That subtle details that people may not recognize i may create an event uh explaining it too yeah we uh i think we have i think um and that's a great segue so this is pretty much it for the game jams once again congratulations to our winners uh we have several events coming up and i think uh pretty soon we're also going to start having events where we uh invite game jam winners to, to describe how they actually went about creating their game um so we had zach and uh edward too in previous weeks now we have james they all you may all see them uh showing what it is exactly that they did in order to win the game jam so thanks again everyone for joining me uh that is the end of dark mode for this week uh we'll be back next week with a new uh, with several new segments uh, and the new Game Jam theme, which I'm going to see if I can release that now. Ah, it's not in here. I'll find that in just a second. But um, as a reminder, for anybody who is looking to join, you can um, you can do so by going to kidoyo.com. Uh, and you'll see all the different options. We have the Kidoyo Passport. You can join the Code LI community. We have tons of different courses that you can use to create uh, to create games and different projects. And um, you can also, of course, compete in these weekly game jams. So, next week's game jam theme is can't stop so all this week you have the ability to create a game using whatever tools you want to as long as i can test them on, on my computer and um you can compete in this week's game jam you can submit earlier to the challenge uh, but remember that if you make updates you can always update your challenge submission so once again that is all we have for this dark mode Thanks once again for everyone for joining us. We'll see you next week.